guys, you're watching me, Superman. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a wee unboxing for you guys, and it is going to be a bit of a small unboxing. But my new EK M.2 heat shrink passive cooler for my M.2 MVME drive section has arrived, and I thought I'd show you guys what it's going to look like and what really comes in the box. So I hope you guys enjoy. You're watching me, Supermans. If you like this video, please like it. Please sub, follow, and check out my Windows 10 optimization gaming guide. Let's get stuck in. So the first thing, guys, that I will show you, sorry about the shaky cam, is where it's going to go in. So... This is my rig at the minute, and uh, it is Star Wars themed, as you guys can see. I am a bit of a Star Wars fanatic, and the case that I built is designed on Star Wars. So the M.2 on this motherboard, which is the... MSI X99 um, SAK um, ACK the M.2 drive is right there guys in the bottom section which is located here and I will be putting in an M.2 drive into my water cooler so as you can hear guys I've got the water flowing I have some nice new RGB fans coming for this system so you guys will be able to see that because I will upload the video when they come in the next few days. I've also got an EK water block coming for my 980 GTX Ti because of uh, the cooler died on it the other day. So I had to strap on from a mod that I learned on 3D Guru after speaking to a few members to strap a couple of 120 millimeters if I have fans if I have them around so that's what they're done and they're cable tied on at the minute so that will be arriving so let's have a look what we got guys and see what's in this package I know guys my mouse mat does need a good clean but it's because I'm forever doing videos and I'm always rubbing my hands against it so the first thing we can see is it has come and it is an EK M.2 MVME heatsink and it's a passive heatsink. So it is guys, it comes in all different colours, blue, black, neutral, purple, white. But obviously since my build is a red and black build and white for the stormtroopers, hence the uh, whole stormtrooper design. Got a stormtrooper grill up here, Darth Vader up here, and this is a modded half 932 Cooler Master case, which I've obviously modded myself. So I'm still obviously finishing up. I'm getting another cover for here to cover up this bit, and I'm also at the minute waiting for shack mods. It's a bit like cable mods, but shack mods have been very kind to send me out. Um, some cable extensions, black and red, for the power supply, the graphics card EPS, because this board takes two EPS, and also the um, ATX extension <coughs> for powering the motherboard up. So that will be arriving. And also, due to me buying this reservoir, unfortunately, when installing, I cracked the very top. So... I had to obviously put a bit of glue on the very top of it to seal it and unfortunately it was leaking still so I had to seal the top. Now I've spoken to the company and they have sent out a new one so when that gets installed because they said there must have been a problem in production that's why it was leaking so bad. They think it was obviously the o-ring at the top which goes under this uh, black pallet so they're sending me out a new one anyway to get changed but we'll get on to 
<coughs> seeing what's in this bag. Sorry guys for coughing. Okay, so as soon as I open it up, it seems to fold open. And there is a bit of foam. Unwrap the foam. And this is what we get inside the box, guys. So let's lay it out. So we have two clips in this bag, which is two black clips for holding on the heat sink to the M.2 drive. We have a one millimeter thermal pad. So it's nice, good size for obviously, depending on what size of M.2 drive you're going for. This is the full 2280 drives. And we have <coughs> excuse me and we have a 0 0.5 uh, millimeter uh, thermal pad as well so we get the thicker one and we get the thinner one so you can see the difference between them guys I'll zoom in for you and I don't know why my autofocus is going there we go so one's obviously you can tell when I push it together, one's thinner than the other. So that's the small one. This is the, the bigger, thicker one. So this is a 0 0.5 mm. This is a one millimeter thermal pad. Then we get the two clips. Then we have the instructions. So we have which shows the thermal pads 1mm and 0 0.5 which is exactly what I just said to you guys so I got them right at least obviously that we don't need the foam unless you're a foam addict you know oh my god it feels so nice mm. no being serious we don't need the foam okay looks like a wee small mini back plate you know it is pretty clean looks like brushed metal hence why it's kind of looks like it's scraped but it's not it's a uh, good manufactured it is sm smooth all the way around I don't see any problems with it I'll flick on the extra lighting for you guys have a look so yeah apart from my grimy mitts at the top it is manufactured perfectly so that there's going to be the back plate and then we have the block so this is the back side of the block that we have and yes I did get it red and then this is obviously going to be the top this is the passive cooler guys so it is so So at the minute, as you can see guys, we have all the passive cooler fins at the minute. And I'll tell you how many there is in a second for use. So we have obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 teeth, which obviously is for cooling. Lifting. Basically this block will lift the heat up better, transfer it, it'll take it off the M.2 drive will transfer the heat up the ways and then the, the vortex or, or the, by the fans in your case will just push it along and it get exhausted. The driver the heat sitting on the M.2 drive for a while and then naturally just lifting off when the, the drive starts to fry because M.2 drives are renowned for getting pretty warm. So as you can see the cooler's done pretty cool. They have the obviously the EK foil which obviously when you remove it the foil can be removed and it'll show that nice shiny silver EK watermark which is pretty cool always like that stuff but as you can see it's been manufactured to a T there's no fins at a place there when they tilt it sideways they make it bigger than the other it's got obviously the end grips here and that there's obviously for the clips to go on correctly and obviously as I said it will go into my red build 
So, and it kind of matches every, all my stuff. Can't really notice the difference when it's against the table there, guys. Apart from where I'm holding on to it and lifting it up, and causing a shadow behind it. <coughs> so yeah, it's gonna match my build pretty good. And that is the EK M.2 NVMe heatsink. And obviously, as I said to you guys, you can get it in many, many colors. Check it out. At the minute, they're going on Amazon at the minute for $13.99. Great British pounds, that is, guys. That's £14. It's about maybe uh, €18, Euro, I would say. Just a rough estimate at the top of my head, guys. So, but €18. Euro, and I'm sure you guys will really love one of these in your build. If you haven't got one for your M.2 drive, I would definitely recommend it. You may think, and oh man, that's a lot of money just for a tiny bit of metal. But trust me guys, this is essential because M.2 drives are renowned for getting seriously warm. And they will break down and, or it will cause the lifespan of your drive to diminish on a quick return. So definitely guys, get one of these. There is no water cooled ones at the minute. If um, one comes up by EK, eventually, you know, because it's, it's got enough space, you know, for them to do. They can make this bit a bit thicker in Plexi to bring more water through, and they can kind of zigzag it if they really wanted, you know. And as you can see, where that space is there, you can put a real fine um, on each side, uh, a fitting, basically a G1. Slash four fitting for your water cooling connections for rigid tubing or for soft tubing or hard tubing, depending on what you want to call it, guys. You know, so it would look pretty cool if it was in Plexi, but I would probably still prefer if I don't, don't know if you can get them, guys, but I'd probably prefer it in red Plexi, you know, or if they wanted, you know, a bit of Plexi and say something like, um, how do you say, perspex, red perspex maybe over it, depending on how well that takes the heat. And then obviously it would then match my other water block in the system, which is obviously the EK Supremacy one, as you can see up there, guys, with the silver button on it. So, well, the silver badge. So, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this this video guys this was brought to you by me supermans check out my channel i have a windows 10 optimization guide for gaming and obviously for tweaking streaming broadcasting and mining on my link on twitch youtube twitter steam and also my curating page on steam which you can find is the comic center hope you guys enjoyed have a good one peace